Okay, so when we start curing our trays, we're going to use this unit here. This is made from dense ply, but obviously you can find many others in the market. Uh, you have an on and off button here on the side, as well as one for the light source and one for the turn, turning table. When you open the door, you'll see a table here that is adjustable. So when you're placing the tray inside and center to the table, when the light comes on, you can raise it or lower it to maximize the exposure to the light. So I'm going to think I'm going to do this one at a time, even though I have both of them. You can certainly put them back to back, like so. But I don't think you're going to maximize the exposure to the light. And it really doesn't take very long to cure this. It takes two minutes, if that, to cure. So I'll start off with the upper. Make sure that everything is turned off. Your timer here, you have a knob to adjust the timer. You can go all the way up to 10. But for this particular material, we don't need to go all the way up to 10. I think two minutes is sufficient. So I'm going to close the door. Actually, before I do that, I just want to show you guys a safety feature on the unit. So if you have the unit turned on, and this turns on the fan, that needs to cool the unit down because the light bulb gets fairly hot. I'm going to turn on the light source, and now I'm going to turn on the table that you can vaguely see spinning at this time. So I can turn off the table if I, if I wanted to kind of overexpose one particular surface, maybe the handle, or turn off my light source, but the unit is still on. I would advise you guys, after you finish using the unit, leave it on to cool off all of the electronics that are inside the unit. Because when you're using this machine constantly, it gets fairly hot. And if, you, if you've used, let's say you cured 10, 12, 15 different trays, it's gonna get fairly hot and if you turn it off right away, there's a lot of heating here. So give it a little bit of time with the fan on to cool off. So if we have our case in there, and oh, I just remembered, I forgot to put a handle on it, and I open the door, notice that the light bulb automatically turns off as a safety feature, so you don't hurt your eyes, okay? To reset the timer, every time you open the door, the timer resets. So if you were at two minutes and you open the door after 30 seconds, you close the door, the timer will reset. As a good measure, just to make sure that it does, I turn it off. So I'm gonna close my door, I got my light source on, I got my table running, I got my timer adjusted to two minutes. I'm gonna turn it on and it's gonna start spinning. And as it does, I'm gonna play around with this knob on top of the unit to adjust the turning table to the right height to maximize exposure to the light source. So I'm thoroughly curing the material all over. In most cases, you're gonna have some material that's still soft around the periphery of the tray because some of the surfaces of the cast block the light source from penetrating it. Usually on the lower, inside the Retromada Hawaii area. So maybe for the lower, you can go a little bit longer, you can go three minutes. Try not to go longer than three minutes because it will create quite a bit of heat here and you could end up distorting the base plate material or the tray material. And I said base plate because this is the same material we're going to be using for the next exercise, which is the fabrication of bike locks. And that's the main material we're gonna be using for the actual base of the bike block, okay? So as I'm curing this, I have my, an instrument in hand, something handy, 
whether it's a font stock or a 7A or a 6A or maybe a plaster knife so I can pry the material off the wax. As this is going through the cycle, the light source or the bulb in here creates quite a bit of heat, which is actually convenient for, for me because that heat softens the, the underlying wax so I can pry the material off the wax. Okay? So I think it's pretty close to a two minute. Oh, that was pretty close. My internal clock is working still, so that's good. So I'm gonna take this out, leave the fan on, remove this, and I'm going to pry, and I'm feeling, as I'm prying, I'm feeling if the edges are cured. And they feel like they're cured. I'm going to pry this off the model. If you block this out properly, you shouldn't have any undercuts. It should come off rather easily. Very clean, because I took care in smoothing out the wax that I used for my block out. For good measure that this is thoroughly cured, I'm gonna put it back in, upside down. And I'm gonna keep a timer for about 30 seconds. That ensures that everything is cured thoroughly. So even though my timer's at three minutes, I can interrupt this timer anytime I want. So that's about 30 seconds. I'm gonna take this out and give it a final inspection. Make sure that all the peripheries are thoroughly cured throughout. And that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna set the upper one aside and bring the lower one in. Timers are two minutes. I'm pretty sure that the unit resets every time I open and close the door in terms of the timer. But for good measure, you can turn it on and off very briefly. Close the door, adjust the height of the table, and let it expose for about two minutes.